la entrevista con Pat Pineda, vicepresidenta del grupo Toyota Motors aquí en Miami durante Hispanicize 2015. Well, how are you, Pat? I'm doing great, and I'm doing especially great since you're at the at the wheel. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pat Pineda from Toyota here in the U.S., and uh, she's visiting us uh, here in Miami for Hispanicize, and Toyota is uh, one of the main sponsors for this big and great event, right? That it's, brings... it's a terrific event, and we're really pleased to be the exclusive automotive sponsor. Yeah. Bloggers, new media companies uh, to inter to interact more with the Hispanic community in the U.S., which is obviously growing and very important for companies like Toyota, right, Pat? Absolutely, Latinos are our fastest growing consumer segment. Yeah, and uh, for in the automotive industry, Toyota just celebrated another year of being number one with Hispanics. Yes. Uh, a big celebration, you know, we're very, very proud that since 2004, Toyota has been the number one automotive choice for Latinos. Yeah, and um, I mean, obviously the quality of the cars, uh, the, the, the memories also from people coming from Latin America, I was talking to one of your dealers here that how they come into the dealership, they already know the car, they, 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 they are used to the brand and all that, and they come here, and actually, since coming from other economies where cars are much more expensive, they come here like, what? I can get a Ford Runner for half the price? Give me two. <laughs> and, and, and there's no question. I mean, at the heart of our being, number one, is the fact that we offer high-quality, safe, and fuel-efficient vehicles that really meet the diverse needs of our Latino families. Yeah. And, and if, if we didn't have this great product... You know, I, I, I don't know that we would be number one. It, 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 I, I would say our product is at the core. Yeah, and uh, obviously, uh, not only the, the quality of the product, but I mean, they're like really affordable. I mean, like for great people value. Who, exactly, great value. People coming from uh, other countries, and uh, most of the time, they probably use uh, buy a used car, but it's a Toyota because they know it's reliable and it's going to last for a long time. But they could get it for a for a decent price and then like they keep moving up and then they get a new one like this new Scion for example or whatever other Toyota product. I think that's really important in fact you know in my conversations uh, with many Latinos you know it, what I've learned is that the brand is a very aspirational brand for Latinos. Yeah. I hear so many people saying you know one of these days if they don't already own a, Lati a, a, a Toyota that's what they aspire uh, to own. And I was talking to a father who said to me that his son was going to look for a new car and he said, you know, buy a Toyota. It's going to last, it's, you know, it's durable, it's fuel efficient, and it's, and it's great value and high quality. So um, that's how our, our, our products are perceived. And a wide uh, range of products also. I mean, yes. like, uh, because the, now we, you start with the Jaris, is the, the Jaris is the... The Yaris, the, yeah. The most affordable car, and then yes. you go all the way up to, to like... The, the Tundra. The Tundra, exactly, which is amazing, right? And, and you know, for us, the, the Corolla is the number one seller to Latinos. Uh, one out of every Corolla in the U.S. is sold to a, a Hispanic. One of how many? Out of every four Corollas oh. sold is sold to a Hispanic. Wow, so big, big market... But, but we're also seeing change because one out of five Lexus ISs is also so to yeah. Hispanic. And that's a, that's a very interesting thing because, I mean, I, I talk to other uh, automotive uh, brands, obviously, and, like, some some of the luxury brands, they don't get that. I mean, like, what? Latinos buying luxury cars? Oh, yeah, there's a big market for that, too. Well, you know, it's funny because when I go out and talk to groups, I've had people say, so why are you talking to Latinos? Can they afford Toyotas? And, and they're always surprised when I say Latinos, you know, Toyota is the number one automotive choice for Latinos. And absolutely they can afford yeah. uh, Toyotas. So uh, I, uh, there's uh, statistics. I mean, when they talk about like the Hispanic market in the U.S., um, about the U.S. Census, the 2010 U.S. Census speaks about 50 million Latinos in the U.S., right? So, but they're like, of those, there are about, let's say, 10 million that don't speak any Spanish, maybe, and maybe Hernandez Gonzalez Perez, but don't speak any Spanish. And then, like, you have on the other end, like, 5 million who don't speak any English, like newly commerce, like migrant workers, whatever you want to call them. But then in between, you have 30 to 35 million people who are bilingual at some level, with a buying power of 1.5 uh, trillion, 
which I understand grew 50% since 2010, that's the fastest growing segment of the population. So when they talk about an emerging market, and there's one here already. So it, it, it's a it's a formidable market, and and you know my view is that any U.S. consumer brand, obviously including Auto, ought to be connecting with the Latino market. And if you're not, you're in danger of becoming irrelevant. Yeah. Uh, and, and and my view is, if you're not already engaging today with the Latino market, you're behind. Yeah. And that's happening to some companies that don't don't get that concept. And, and I I always wonder why. But I mean, what's your theory? Um. I mean, you don't have to talk about other companies, but like, I mean, why why would you do? I mean, uh, you know, it, Toyota's it, here is honey size for that reason and many others. Right. You know, I think we stay very close to our customer. And we do all that we can to understand our customer profile, and and I think that uh, you know I can't speak to why other brands no, course, aren't yeah. aren't getting it. To me, it seems pretty obvious. You know, actually, the numbers for Latinos in this country today, you know, they say is anywhere between 53 to 54 million Latinos in the United States, and by 2050, Latinos yeah. will represent one out of every three Americans. Yeah. And particularly in the auto industry, Javier, um, in 2013, when you, you were referencing the 1.5 trillion purchasing power, which uh -huh. we're projected to reach this year, 2015, in 2013, U.S. Hispanics spent $35 billion dollars on new vehicles, wow, the, on, new, the, on new, on new, on new vehicles in the U.S., and they outpaced all other consumer segments, or we outpaced yeah. all other consumer segments in those new vehicle in, in new vehicle sales growth, and that's growth. And for Toyota specifically, U.S. Hispanics represented between calendar year 2012 and 13, and we expect that this will continue to, to be the case, Latinos represented 38% of Toyota's new vehicle sales growth. Wow, 38%, that's, that's huge. huge. That's huge, yeah. And, it, and we expect and growing. that, that yeah, and, exactly. and growing, and yeah. growing. And, and you know, and if you look at the Latino population in this country, then the number one college entrant today is guess who? Latinos, Latinas, Latinas, yeah. <laughs> and if you look at the the uh, income ladder for uh -huh. Latinos, and I don't have the, the 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 data in front of me, but what I can tell you is that the bottom rung of that ladder shrunk, and the top two uh, rungs of the ladder, one being seventy five thousand, I think to hundred, and then above a hundred thousand, those are quickly expanding. So, so this is a, a demographic that is going to grow in influence and purchasing power. Yeah. And we love vehicles. Oh, of course, yeah. And I think Toyota is being smart. And, uh, and, and again, I don't want to compare car manufacturers, actually, for that matter, any other company in any other industry. But I think, for example, your advertisement is really smart in, in creating it originally for Hispanics. Because some companies just like translate something that it's yes. already in English and that's like such a big mistake. Yes, yes. I mean because there you are cannot nuances. relate. Yes. Exactly. We, we, it's, it's so important for us at Toyota that our messaging resonates with Latinos and and Javier, what a lot of people don't realize is that Toyota has, a, has been a real pioneer because over 20 years ago we began communicating and engaging directly with the Latino in language. 20 and, years, so you and, were the, one of the first. And in culture, yes. Yeah. So that's why, you know, we are a pioneer in this, and, and, and my view is that's why we're number one. Yeah. And that, I mean, and backed up with the product, obviously. Absolutely. And then, you know, over 10 years ago, we started establishing uh, partnerships with uh, many of the key national Latino organizations in the yeah. United States. Because, you know, it's you certainly want a presence on television, on Univision, yeah. Telemundo. Which and, is the and traditional other. media yes. now. But, but also for Latinos, 
I think it's really important to have that in-person presence. Oh, absolutely. And so, you know, NCLR, for example, they have about 25,000 people who come through their expo booth where we have our vehicles. Yeah. They get to see people who are associated with the Toyota brand, and we get to engage, and that's really important as well. Yeah, so the other question was for like Hispanic sites, for example. I mean, and some people will say, like, why would Toyota want to be here? I mean, these are bloggers, not only... I mean, not mainly not from the automotive industry, like everything. Tenemos que estar aquí exactly. because eighty percent of Latinos are online. Yeah, that's another and, big, big and, number. And if you want to stay connected and and you want to remain relevant, you have to be involved in the social and digital media space. It's growing, and it's growing especially for Latinos. Yeah. So well, today we're driving here around the Wynwood, which is a very vibrant uh, area of Miami. That it used very to be, edgy. Yeah, it used to be only. Um, I'm going to stop here because we're going to take some pictures and we stop the conversation. But uh, um, this is an area that is developing, and much much like the Hispanic market is still developing. I mean, like, so to some people, it's a surprise, not for Toyota, because yeah, as you were telling, like you started like 20 years ago doing these kind of things. But uh, I mean. This is an example of, of things changing, right? Like, and that's the the the, the 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 constant factor, I guess, for Toyota. Also, like, keep exploring new areas of, of developing and communicating with the Hispanic and, community, and, you know? and, and therefore Hispanicize. Yeah. And, and you know, and at Hispanicize, they are really um, successfully bringing together powerful Latina voices, Latina voices in the social and digital media space. And we've had a ball because we're having a, a great time getting to know some of the uh, bloggers, journalists, and, and others, and, and having the opportunity to share some wonderful Toyota stories. Yeah, excellent. Well, Pat, uh, thank you very much for your time. We're going to keep driving here for, for a while. Uh, and uh, again, like a lot of uh, good news for Toyota, like coming in this year, like, uh, Sales are growing. High we're very, we're very optimistic, and we look forward to further engagement with the Latino market. Excellent. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank and, you. Uh, take okay, care. Take a little walk here and uh, endeavor the wall set and win. Yes. Okay? Take care. Bye bye. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.